I'm going to show you the steps for checking your lock off on a 461.57S. Uh, we've already prepped this regulator, removed the spring, removed the top uh, plate, um, backed off um, the uh, adjustment screw to make sure we didn't have any pressure on it. And at this point, we're going to check the regulator for lock off. <coughs> You need to make sure that you have a gauge in your upstream as well as a manometer in your downstream location. Make sure that your control line is properly hooked up. First procedure is this regulator has been isolated. There is no gas in the regulator itself. We have pressure upstream and we have pressure downstream. So this has been isolated. So our first step is to slowly open your inlet valve. You will start to see the pressure climb. Your downstream valve should be closed. <clears throat> We're going to open our downstream valve, crack that open so that we can equalize pressure on both sides of the regulator, open our upstream valve completely, and close off our downstream valve. You will see the pressure rise in your down downstream. If it continues to rise, your valve is not set well. You can see <laughs> eventually it, it will stop and you can see how much of an adjustment you may need to do. If it continues to rise above two pounds without a spring in it, you're going to need to reset that valve. At this point, we're showing that our valve is set properly. We have good lock off at one pound. And our regulator should function properly. We, at this time, we can also make sure that our travel is good and we have free travel. We can do that by opening up the downstream closing our upstream and watching our travel indicator as it falls open. So we can repeat that by closing off our downstream, opening up our upstream very slowly and seeing that travel indicator close back up. This ensures that you have free travel on your regulator and you're not binding.